Forensic psychology is really nothing more than the behavioral sciences and its relationship with law. So as in forensic sciences, we have a wide range of research, and much of our research is very applied, and all of our research is student-oriented. We're, we're a graduate student, we're exclusively a graduate student program. We're now experimenting with mental health courts. The problem with mental health courts is how do you evaluate or mandate good mental health? So this, stu this student went into an extensive study visiting the 16 mental health courts in Oklahoma, looking for ways to evaluate and making those courts better. We have another student that you know, in this age of violence and bombings and terrorism, uh, we have a student that, that kind of looked at the seeds of that violence. And this student looked at three different crime rate areas here in the city of Tulsa. And the student went to daycare centers in, in those three crime rate areas and looked for correlations between state violations and their licensing and the way the, uh, student, or the students interact with the caregivers. We're looking at a system where many of us will leave our students at a daycare, our children at a daycare center for up to 50 hours a week, essentially making those, those providers co-parents. You know, how might that influence with the development of our children, or is there inf any influence? We have another student that has acquired 15 years of autopsy and medical examiner records from the state medical examiner, and she's culling through those medical examiner records looking for incidents of domestic murder, and she's looking for trends over the years and how domestic homicide has changed over the years here in Oklahoma and how we might be used that either in prevention efforts or investigative techniques. We have a student that's working with uh, law enforcement agencies in three different states, and he's looking at a cold cases of 10 unsolved homicides believed to be committed by the same serial murder. And these have been investigated for some time and have come to a, a cold case status. And this student is examining these records, these reports, and looking for ways that maybe social media and some of the newer technologies that we have available here might interact and resurrect some of those investigations. We have another student that's looking at minor crimes in our community. You know, nuisance offenses for many of us, littering, vagrancy, you know and looking at the ways that law enforcement is enforcing these minor offenses, what many of us would call nuisance crimes, and how that might affect major crimes, murder, rape, robbery, burglary, aggravated assault, that occurs in those same communities. Basically, we're a land-grant university. Our students embrace that. Uh, we look forward to it. Our research is very, very grounded, and we're looking for ways to improve the lives of the people of Oklahoma and the people of this country.